We're here in the fire station's kitchen. Looks like you guys do a lot of good cooking here. <laughs> we based do. on we got two stoves, yeah. a giant. You guys make some good food in here. We do. Yeah, firemen are known for their food. Oh man, well you're gonna have to have me come back sometime. <laughs> we'll for that. do that. So, but in the meantime. Um, when we were talking, you were saying that this is actually, the kitchen is actually yeah. the number one cause of, yes. of fire incidents? Yeah. It is. Year in and year out, the number one cause of house fires is unattended cooking. And um, this time of year, of course, we're doing a lot of cooking. Yeah. So it creates that problem. So yeah, we, we just recommend if you're cooking, stay at the stove, don't go anyplace else, don't go to sleep, don't do anything. Watch the stove because there's open flames or in some cases electric, it's still creating heat. What are yeah. some of the things that you guys have seen that could have been prevented? Well, grease fires are the number one thing because people will put grease in there and as that grease heat, heats up, it actually creates a flame. And then once the flame gets going, then people don't know how to deal with that and they'll either throw water on it or something and then that makes the fire bigger. Right, because a grease fire actually, when the water hits it, it actually creates like a fuel environment that starts to expand the flame. It does, so we talk about smothering. Uh, smother the fire if possible. So like with a towel or what would you, or what would a, you use? Or a lid, a, a, a lid, metal okay. lid or something that just smothers the fire out. Three things you need for a fire, heat, fuel, and oxygen. You take away one of those, the fire goes out. So in this case, if you're covering it, you're taking away that oxygen. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Now, I know it's like with kids sometimes, yeah. like you were saying, like keep the handles pointed in. Absolutely. Sometimes it's not just about fire safety, it's also about keeping everybody home safe and not in the hospital. So Absolutely. this is a, a serious issue right here, isn't it? it? It very much is. In fact, I have ran medical calls where a child will hit this and dump all oh. the hot stuff right on them and burn them. That's so we, we tell people, don't leave the handles where that can happen. Turn it around this way. And that's a very simple, very simple, very simple, very simple fix. Yeah. Um, what is the number one piece of advice you would give somebody um, in the kitchen for the holidays? Stay attentive to your cooking. Number one rule is stay yes. with the stove, stay yeah. in the kitchen. Yeah. And then keep combustibles away, like you might have a dish towel or something. Yeah. Keep them away from the top of the stove where they can't be ignited. Things can bump into the flame right. and get going. And yep. then don't leave, don't go take a nap. Right. If you're not yeah. in a good place to cook, yeah. maybe don't, don't do cook. It. Don't do it. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Well, Mike, thank you so much for your time. This has been extremely helpful. We've been talking with Mike Dilly here at the Homer fire protective district and he's also a fire investigator so he has seen it all um, and he's been giving us some great holiday tips here thanks again mike thank you and uh, i hope we get to come back for some of this famous Absolutely. fire food that you guys offer come on back <laughs> you're always welcome i appreciate okay. it thank you so yeah i really got to say it's so amazing how simple it is to stay safe sometimes i mean a fire alarm could be a major difference between a disaster and everybody being safe in your home. So check those batteries, make sure they work. It's very simple to do. Um, I also want to say thank you to the Homer Fire Protection District for having us over and sharing these safety tips with us. Yeah, we do appreciate that. And if you need more information and details on how you can keep your family safe this holiday season, of course, we will have all of Mike's safety tips over at CILiving.tv.